And there it is, finally, connecting all of the dots and attempting to put it all together. The clean and jerk. So this is the first time I've ever tried to connect the movements uh, all together to make a clean and jerk, even though it's not a full clean and it's a crappy jerk, but it's an attempt to kind of put it all together. Um, I did some uh, overhead squats. I feel like I'm getting a little bit of the hang of it, like I'm still kind of tight from yesterday i pushed them yesterday a little bit so from now on it's going to be every other day uh overhead squats uh i think i've had three or four days now in a row of doing overhead squats and i'm realizing that too much overhead squatting it makes you worse at overhead squatting because of the, the tightness that kind of happens from exhausting the muscles responsible for the stability overhead so i'm going to try to do them every other day uh and then go from there today I was like, okay, I feel kind of all right. So let me let me see what I can do, you know, in terms of jerking. So clean and jerking. And uh, I ended up getting to 80 kilos. Uh, still, uh, same pattern with me. I, I struggled to get underneath the bar. Uh, I feel like as soon as I try to get a little bit lower, the anterior pelvic tilt gets worse and worse and worse and eventually forces me to lean over. So, um, you know, I'm doing the... I don't even know what it's called. I'm doing the loo type of jerk where it's a two, it's not a split stance. It's a squat jerk, I think it's called. I'm doing that because I feel like it's safer for me. I don't know why. Predominantly, like the, the whole split stance, I feel like I might slip or something. I don't know, something to that effect. But opted out to do the squat jerk, even though it wasn't much of a squat uh, but it's an attempt, and uh, so I kind of know where I'm starting off, 80 kilos, uh, and that's all just pure brute strength, it's not much technique at all, uh, uh, but it was good, it was good to kind of feel, you know, what it's all about, to feel, you know, uh, what it uh, what it looks like on camera, and you know, when you're doing it, you feel like you're getting lower, you feel like you're more aggressive and whatnot, but you're not, on camera it looks like I'm chickening it out, but this is the benefit of video. Um, so there it is. Uh, a quick clean and jerk attempt. Um, and uh, that's all, really. It's on my mind. You know, I try to do it. Uh, I know where the, the, the flag is now in, in the sand. And now I'm going to try and pull it apart and, and try and get better. I think I need to work on getting lower, both on the snatch and clean and jerk. I'm, I'm limiting myself immensely. Uh, you know, a lot of people are going to say shoes. Of course, shoes. But still, the anterior pelvic tilt is there. So I, I feel like the, the issue is in the hips and not in the in the ankles. So I'll need to kind of work that out. Um, the GHD makes me feel better. It releases the hip flexors. This is the thing when you do the GHD. The glutes get fired up. They get lit up. And then... Uh, the hip flexors release and then you feel like you have good mobility so maybe I should open up every session with a few sets of GHD and then go into it I reckon that will feel better uh, for me even before overhead squats just do a, do a few sets just to chill these freaking hip flexors of mine and allow me to get deeper and more upright so maybe that's something uh, I need to work on for the next for the next session like always guys I appreciate you and I'll catch you in the next one peace out